Okay, good morning. Welcome to the manufacturing facility for G4S Technology. I'd like to introduce you to the plant this morning and show you some details of how we put together our product range. Um, first of all, I'd like to show you the surface mount capability. Uh, that's split into three component sections and I'll take you through each section as, as we come. First of all, uh, we start off with a bare printed circuit board. Uh, this is a typical arrangement of a, a symmetry product. Uh, our job now is to load uh, surface mount components that look something like these. Uh, here's a range of uh, very, very tiny surface mount com components, uh, all the way up through a value range to microprocessor level. Our job now is to load these onto this circuit board using three processes that I'll describe for you now. Okay. So the first process that we're deploying is screen printing of solder paste uh, onto the surface area of the printed circuit board. Uh, we do that using this piece of equipment here, which is a screen printing process. Uh, this process uses the uh, Hawkeye camera system uh, and it's really where our quality performance actually be begins from the outset. We can see behind me the surface mount machine running. What it's effectively doing is it's picking and placing components in a very accurate manner and it's, it's actually mimicking the quality of the first machine that we've demonstrated to you. I'd like to explain the third part of the process now, which is the infrared reflow soldering equipment. So from this end of the machine, uh, we have heater profiles, which will now heat the board up to around about 260 degrees C. And as it traverses through the length of the machine, by about the X position on the hood, we've reached that temperature. And at that point, the solder paste will, uh, that we've printed previously will effectively go molten and then fuse with the termination of the electronic components, thus en masse forming the circuitry. So having completed the third stage of the process, we now have a populated card. And we can see a representation of that. This is a javelin circuit with six of the same circuit in a standard panel size. We've now populated all of the surface mount components that you see on the card there. Okay, so now we've reached a stage of the process where we've wave soldered the underside of the circuit board and what you see in the shot is one of our skilled operators doing a check process and inputting the data that we find from that check process into a software tool to analyse our effective first time pass rate. Now currently our first time pass rate is monitored every day and it sits at around about 99.6 this morning. Uh, effectively what we're doing here is we're linking the reliability and quality of our product uh, at, the, at the root of the production so that we can then monitor that later on from a warranty perspective. Our warranty stats at the moment are less than half of 1% as an out-of-box failure, so we're operating to extremely high standards. OK, at this point, we're splitting our product range into two and actually creating a final assembly. The two product ranges effectively are, are built in two different lines. For the first product range, what we see being built now is an access control box for the symmetry product. And here we have two stages of operation. The first stage is built on this side, where we load around about half the components. And the second stage is built on the other, the other station. Effectively, from an environmental point of view, we've actually located the cardboard finished box into the access control unit. So this is received from the supplier as one package. So what we see here is a skilled operator loading components into the box from a prescribed uh, standard process 
and that way we get effectively a standard quality output. When this operator has finished this particular piece of assembly, the box is slid under, underneath to the next operator. So at this point we've now reached the second stage of, of assembly for the M2150 box and we're now going to place a printed circuit board that's fully tested into the box and wire up a power supply to complete the assembly, fold down the lid, do up some screws and then the job is finished. So we've now at the second stage of our assembly process which is the reader production and what we have here is a representative range of our reader product. Uh, this effectively is um, an existing product range and effectively in here are three printed circuit boards that we've manufactured sandwiched in there very close together to give you the proximity access and also in this range we see uh, the new Javelin product range and effectively now we have uh, just the one board located into the housing which is a generational uh, change for us from this particular product range with the same functionality Im embedded in. And this effectively is the brother of, uh, or, or sister even, of, uh, of the product, effectively again with one board located. And what I'd like to show you now is effectively how we are uh, building the product range. So Stuart here is uh, in the process of putting together a javelin reader and what we're now going to do is fit a printed circuit board into the uh, housing and perform a full test operation and actually function the reader within its test specification. OK, so what we see here now is our in-circuit test capability for our M2150 symmetry range. And Chris here now is testing a, a printed circuit board assembly. That printed circuit board assembly has now been completed and we 100% test everything we do. The reason we do that is we want to maintain our reliability in the marketplace. I mentioned early, earlier our warranty returns were less than half of 1% and we guarantee that by performing in-circuit testing of every product. From that we get our first time power shield and our first time power shield is around about 99.6%. Now, this is very important to us because we're also trying to maintain our customer requested date performance and if we have issues associated with test shield then effectively we could miss delivery dates. Okay, what we see here is a full rack loaded with M2150 symmetry range and a typical example is a four door database controller uh, populated, fully tested, ready to go into a general assembly and we're using uh, Kanban pool principles, lean technology to actually build our product range. 